Hi everyone, my name is Selena. Thanks for watching. It's been a while since I've made a video. Um, I am in Kansas City now, in a new teaching position, and I'm really excited to have the time again to read and to make videos and talk to you all about what's going on with me and reading and hopefully get to share some things with you guys. So I just wanted to share with books I have been reading. First up is The Alloy of Law by Brandon Sanderson, which is the fourth book in the Mistborn series, the first book in the Wax and Wayne trilogy. And so the main characters, you have Wax and Wayne, they, um, when the book opens up, are like deputy and sheriff in an area called the Rough, which is kind of like a Wild West area. This is 200 years after the events of the final book of the Mistborn trilogy. And so we get to see the uh, progression of what happens with Mistborns and Mistings and this wonderful world that Brandon Sand Sanderson created. Um, but due to a family tragedy, Wax has to go back to Ellendale and he has to take his rightful place as head of House Landrian. And so he begrudgingly does that, but then no sooner does he start to um, kind of get okay and settled into his new role, then his sidekick Wayne comes into the picture and chaos is not far behind and they have to bring what things that they used to do in the roughs, the type of law that they practice, um, to the civilized uh, city of Ellendale to save the day and solve the crime. Um, it is a really fun crime caper book. Um, I did find Wax to be a bit dull, but Wayne was my favorite character. He saved a lot of the scenes, but I loved Brandon Sanderson's writing and the way he allowed a lot of the characters to have their moments to shine. So the book is not carried on Wax's shoulders, um, so we don't need to have him be such a well-rounded character because there's so many awesome characters in this book. I think I rated this about four stars. I don't think I've rated any of Brandon Sanderson's books less than that, so um, I believe I gave this about four stars. Highly recommend it. Can't wait to get into the world more. Um, book three is already out, so I'm two books behind. I need to catch up. Then next I read Scary Close by uh, Donald Miller, who is the author of Blue Like Jazz. Now this book um, it is a journey, or it's his journey, towards intimacy and becoming a more uh, community-oriented, uh, less selfish person. Donald Miller wrote this, um, I believe, because he recently has gotten married and the journey that it took to get him to that place from being single to being someone who is able to be married. and again opens himself up, lays him, himself bare for all the world to see. You see the kind of not so nice parts of, of Miller, you know, the sides that would manipulate people, that cries, that cries out in anger to God, but then it's re really well balanced with the beauty of having positive people in your life, opening yourself up to, to God and opening yourself up to to love and relationship and community and how that can just change your life. Um, I think I gave this three stars. Um, not my favorite Donald Miller book. Um, I've read this one, Blue Like Jazz and A Million Miles in a Thousand Years. And so I think this would be my third favorite of the, th of the three books that I've read. Um, but it's not a bad book. I really enjoyed it. It was a very quick read and I read this on the plane ride coming back from New York to Kansas City. So looking for a quick plane ride, maybe something when you head off to spring break, I would encourage you to pick this book up and give it a try. So now for the books that I am currently now reading. And at that Bible study group, um, uh, member was reading Dune and I was saying how that is a book that I keep meaning to read but never get into it and he had this copy, gave it to me and was like read it because he's reading um, Dune as well. He has a paperback version and so I am reading it. I'm about three or four chapters in to the book and really liking it. I mentioned that I was reading this on Goodreads and someone asked what I thought of it so far. I said well it's a coming of age story and a chosen one story kind of put together and he was like you've got it so I don't know why I've been putting this off or I think I've been intimidated actually by this book because it has such mystique but 
I don't know what the, the, the issue is for me. Uh, my battery's low, so I have to finish this up. But I am enjoying this book, and can't wait to get more into it. I'm also fairly close to finishing a book by Orson uh, Scott Card called The Memory of Earth, and I have about maybe two hours into it because I'm listening to it um, as an audiobook, and I'm really enjoying it. Um, and it's a sci-fi book, but I will tell you more about it when I am done. So that's what's up with me, where I'm at with reading. Please let me know down below what you're reading, and if you have a comment about any of the books that I've mentioned in this video. Have a great day. Love you all. Bye.